Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So here is the last part of my haul. I was not able to film this last time because I thought the most important one that I film first is the BT21 because I'll be giving some of them away. Also, the skincare products. And I did not realize that the Kmart goodies, these are the Kmart goodies. It's like you can only see my head. I think I didn't realize that these are more important because I'm starting to eat them and also give them away to some people. So let's start the Kmart haul. I'm wearing the Samyang lip tint, the Tony Moly Samyang lip tint, and it looks like this. It looks better in the camera than in person. So let's start. Um, to just give you a tip when you're shopping for Kmart finds in Korea, I'm going to remove it first. Um, you should look for things that you cannot find here in the Philippines. You know, there are so many Korean marts these days in Ortigas and Patty. They're everywhere. You can find a Korean mart or Korean groceries everywhere. And I noticed that the price is almost the same. And I think it's a little more expensive in Korea. I'm not sure. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. K-drama mode on. So, I went to Lotte Mart in Seoul Station. Lotte Mart is a very big grocery in Korea. And you can find um, different branches of it. But we went there. I went there on my last day. And I didn't really have budget for this because i forgot about the korean goodies the korean mart finds my priority was the skincare and the shoes the bt21 i did not realize that i'm going home without even a piece of ramyun that day so we just went there i i went there um, without any list of what I'm gonna buy and I just have this budget. I thought 1,000 will be enough, but I spent uh, 30,000 won. 30,000 won is 1,500 pesos and I got a tax refund of 1,500 won which is 75 pesos. So let's start with the drinks. I got this um well, this is a very famous, but the famous one is the banana flavor, banana milk. But this is Kopi Mat Danji. Kopi Mat Danji. Kopi means coffee, mat means flavor. So, coffee flavored milk. Um, I know the famous one is the banana milk, but there are lots of flavor in Korea. There's ube flavor, strawberry, melon, and other flavors. But I am actually lactose intolerant. I cannot drink milk. So uh, this is a little more tolerable than the banana milk because that tastes a lot more milk than this one. This tastes more like coffee. So I bought four of them. This is the package and I've already drank one. So there are only three left. I'm just... Um, enduring not drinking it because I need to do the haul and this is almost 4,000 won this banana milk is like 1,000 won each or 50 pesos each Le a little less than that so maybe 49 pesos or 48 pesos each the thing is we have these in Korean marts but they are in boxes they're not in this case or bottle and I tried buying this in a Korean mart near my office before and the price was like 150 pesos. That's so expensive. Well, it's actually difficult to bring this home because they're a, a little fragile. Like it could, if it's going to be squeezed, you know, it can be damaged. So I just bought for, I wanted to stock up on this, but what i've been telling you guys is that i don't have money anymore i'm being honest i have limited budget when i went to korea because i did not plan going to korea at all it's just that my visa got approved 
well, anyway, moving on to the next one. This one. This is Cafe Riol. Cafe Riol. Oh, there's an English translation. Cafe Riol. So the flavor is caramel macchiato. That one. Uh, we have this in Korean marts. I usually buy this when I go to Korean marts. And it's around 50 or 60 pesos. Well, in Korea, it's just 101 or maybe around 30 pesos. What I know is that it's cheaper. I bought two of these and I was worried because I just put it in my bag, not in my suitcase. My travel bag, the full bag. So I thought it's gonna be squeezed. And But it arrived safely in the Philippines. So what I love about this, it's like you bought coffee from... A coffee shop you just need to put some ice on your glass and pour this because this is a little concentrated it's too sweet but I love sweet coffee so when you are craving for Starbucks and you're just at home you don't want to go out and you don't have money like me you can just drink this so I bought two and I already drank one see <laughs> that's why I, I really forced myself to film this today because I'm starting to drink them all or to eat and drink them all I think I won't be able to show you what I bought. And then the next one is this one. Um, Haru Jongil Sangkum Hake. Ah, daily yogurt. I don't know. So there's an English translation, but you know, the Korean letters are always bigger. Daily yogurt. So I was saying that there is an English translation, but the Korean letters are bigger, so I tend to read the Korean letters first. This is ten. Uh, this is just one thousand one. That's why it caught my attention. One thousand one is fifty pesos, and it's a very big Yakult thing. I have not tasted it yet, but I think we also have this in Seven Eleven. I'm not sure if it's the same. I think it's not the same. And I don't know how much that is. But I really love Yakult or yogurt drinks. So, there. And moving on with our drinks. I got this one. If you're watching Korean dramas, I know you know what this is. Mekshim. Mekshim. Mocha Gold Mild. So, yeah, that's how you read it. Maxim Mocha Gold Mild. So, this is a famous instant coffee in Korea. I think it's like Nescafe. It's our Nescafe in the Philippines. It is like this. Maxim. So, the this box has 20 sachets and I've been drinking it every day. Uh, it's my fourth day it's the fourth day since I arrived in the Philippines and I also gave some to my sister and my mom so there are only a few left there uh, I think this is 4,000 pesos uh, no, 4,001 or 200 pesos something 250 I forgot but if you're gonna buy this in Korean Mart this is 10 pesos each and then now we are done with the drinks let's move on to some desserts so guys this is so good you should search for this when you go to korea gana creamy chew oh so there's english translation gana creamy chew the packet is brown and pink and you know when you see pink it's usually strawberry but this is not strawberry flavored at all so what's inside are small packets of these. This one. So it has like a marshmallow inside and it's covered with chocolate and peanuts. I'm not sure if that's peanut or uh, I think that's almond. It's really, really good. It's almost finished. There are only like three of these left. I gave some to my mother and sister and um, to my friends. I was um, planning on giving to my office mates, but I thought I won't be able to give them anymore because it's almost finished. So the price of this is 
11,001 or 550 pesos. That's the original price of the whole. This uh, this has 27 pieces. So 11,001 or 550 pesos for this. But there was a promo at Lotte Mart. So that's one plus one. Uh, we got two for 11,001. So remember, Ghana creamy chew. This is so good. It's like quality chocolate and the almonds. So good. And then next, this one. If you're going to see Kmart hauls, international Kmart hauls, you're always going to find this. Uh, Marang yogurt. It's like yogurt chewy candy. I haven't tried it yet. I really want to, but I am trying not to so that I can show you this. Everyone is raving about this. There's also a strawberry flavor. This is yogurt flavor. So they say it's really delicious and good for kids. I'm gonna try it later. Uh, this is 3,500. Oh no, no. This is just a small one. I think uh, I forgot. 2,000? Maybe 100 pesos, something like that. So this one. And now the highlight of our haul. The ramyun. There are, I told you, there are lots of Korean mart in the Philippines. And I got the ramyun that I have not seen here in the Philippines. So first is this is already open because I already cooked one and again I gave my mom. So here's how you read it. Bude Jige. Bude Jige is an army stew in Korea. It's like um, it has different meats or cold cuts like sausage, spam, ham, hot dogs. It's like full of meat because it's armies to soldiers eat it to get protein, stuff like that. This is how it looks like. Buddha Jige. So you can see here what I've been telling you. Like there are beans, spam. So, um, there are tidbits, there are pieces of sausages, ham, and kimchi in the packet and it tastes good. I was actually looking for more sour taste because there are tidbits of kimchi but I did not find that though the kimchi was crunchy. I like it so I just wanted to try it. This is a pack of four. Yeah, this. Four pieces for 4,801. What's that right? 4,801. So that's almost 250 pesos just for four pieces. So it turns out to be like almost 60 pesos each, which is expensive for a noodles, but it's the usual price of ramen in the Philippines. Well, Shin Ramyun, the plain one, is. 35 pesos or 40 pesos, something like that. This is the first ramyun, Bude Jige. And then the next one is this, Yukgejang. Yukgejang is spicy beef stew. And uh, I also ate the real Yukgejang on my last day in Korea. So you can see this in Korean marts in the Philippines, but they are cup ramyun, your cup noodles. I cannot find the uh, sachet of yukgejang ramen in the Philippines, so I bought this. This is cheaper. I think this is cheap. Yukgejang, and there are also four packs inside. I already gave my sister one, so there are only three left. And I've been eating this. And the last one in our haul, finally, because it's actually hot. The last one is this. Yang Yum Chicken. Yang Yum Chicken is stir fried spicy chicken. So that's the design. This is four plus 
one. You can see plus one here. So there are five packets inside. I went to Soul Mart in Myeongdong and the price of this is 7400 And I found this in um, Lotte Mart for just 4800 So that's 3000 won cheaper. Or 150 pesos cheaper. Here is how it looks like. So this got my attention right away because the packaging looks really nice and I have not seen this anywhere in the Philippines, not even in the vlogs. I think this is a new product of Nongchim. I've never seen this, promise. I've, I have not seen this anywhere on the internet so I was so curious and I love Yangnam chicken but I've tried this and it's more on a sweet part. I'm not into sweet taste, so I did not like it. It's like baby mion. Anyway, my battery is turning red. It's running out of battery, so I have to go. That's it for my Kmart haul. Bye!